Good Shepherd and Saints Francis and John. I'm Deacon Skip Olson from Saints Francis and John. This week we prepare for the fourth Sunday of Easter, also known as Good Shepherd Sunday. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own, sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. And I know mine and mine know me just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I laid down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Our lives are filled with voices. Some are louder than others, but still, it's a whole lot of noise that's almost impossible to drown out. And these voices all want our attention. They want us to buy their product. They want us to subscribe to their agenda. They want us to embrace their ideas. And bottom line, they want us to believe what they believe. We hear so many voices talking to us, at us, and past us that it's not easy to filter out the good from the bad, the helpful from the harmful, the truth from the lies. And eventually, we start to think like and sound like the voices we listen to the most. And when that happens, those voices become the wolves that scatter us and devour us since they have absolutely no concern for us. If you're listening to politicians, stop. If you're listening to the media, whether right or left, stop. If you're listening to celebrities and professional athletes, stop. And if you're listening to social media influencers, please stop. And in that resulting quiet, Realize that there is only one voice worth listening to. Only one voice that gathers instead of scatters. Only one voice that is the way, the truth, and life itself. Jesus Christ, the one and only Good Shepherd. Tune your ears to His voice and His alone. It takes practice, but it will make an eternity of difference. Your family should discuss the voices in your lives and remember to respect each other's answers. Voices can be comforting or make us feel uneasy. Take turns identifying people your family knows and how their voices make you feel. Who has a voice that's gentle and kind? Does someone's voice come off as authoritative? Maybe you know an older person, perhaps a a grandparent, whose voice sounds wise. What does the voice of someone who's good at teaching sound like? And what do you suppose Jesus' voice sounded like? By our baptisms, We're all called to be the hands, feet, and voices of Jesus Christ in our hearts. This week, each family member should be aware of someone who sounded truly Christ-like in their message. Before Mass this Sunday, share with each other who the person was that 
each of you heard and what they said that helped you know Jesus a little better and that he is with you. Have a great week.